If there's one thing we know how to do here in Appalachia, it's telling tales. And that's only natural, cause we got a lot of folklore all its own. Made up of monsters, ghosts, jack tales, and a whole lot more. Sit back and listen now as we tell you all the lore of these mountains. You're listening to Mountain Lore, Tales from Appalachia. Abingdon, Virginia is the home of the Barter Theater. Opened during the Depression as a theater for stage productions with admission paid by whatever goods you might have, be it corn, some beans, or even a chicken. Well, the barter no longer barters for admission, but it still operates, even in the time of COVID-19, although their productions are now at a local drive-in theater, so folks can socially distance. But our story today isn't about the barter. It's about the place where many of the actors and actresses who performed at the barter stayed during the run of their productions, the Martha Washington Inn, just across the street. Well, the inn was built in 1832 by General Francis Preston, hero of the War of 1812, as a home for himself and his large family. Ever since then, Martha Washington Inn has been several things, a woman's college, a hospital during the Civil War, and a barracks in addition to being a residence for visiting actors. It's now an upscale inn where many people spend their honeymoons, and it's also said to be a haunted place. One story concerns a student at Martha Washington College who was having a love affair with a soldier. When the Civil War started, the college was closed down and turned into a field hospital to care for both Confederate and captured Union soldiers. Now, several of the women who were students decided to remain at Martha Washington to volunteer their services as nurses. And on one occasion, there was a skirmish in Abingdon between rebel and Yankee forces, and one of the Union officers, Captain John Stowe's, was severely wounded and captured. He was brought to the inn by way of a secret cave system underneath Abingdon, which led to a set of stairs which opened up on the third floor of the building. Captain Stowe's was placed in what's now room 403 for treatment. Well, over the next several weeks, a student named Beth nursed the captain as he tried to recover from his wounds. As time passed, the two developed a bond, with Beth playing the violin for her patient to help ease his pain and suffering. Pretty soon, that bond led to something more as the two found themselves falling in love with each other. Unfortunately, this story does not have a happy ending. Things got worse for Captain Stowe's, and before long, there was nothing more the doctors at the Martha Washington Inn Hospital could do for him. As he laid in his bed dying, he called out to Beth for her to play something sweet for him as he was not long for this world. But before she could pick up her violin to play her love out of this world and into the next, he suddenly gasped and died. She went ahead and played a sweet melody as a tribute to him. Just as she finished her tune, a Confederate officer opened the door and announced he was taking the captain as prisoner and moving him to a POW camp. Beth turned to the officer and announced that he had been pardoned by an officer higher than General Lee and was now dead. Soon after, Beth started feeling poorly, and before long, she herself was a patient at the hospital, sick with typhoid fever. Within a few weeks, she too was dead. And to this day, it's said, inn employees and guests have reported hearing a mysterious violin playing a certain sweet melody in the middle of the night. If you go down to room 403 and enter, you'll see Beth sitting there playing that song on her violin for her lost love from a century and a half ago. Another story also dates from the days of the war between the states. It seems there was a young rebel soldier in Abingdon given a very important and very dangerous assignment. He was to carry important papers about the location of the Union Army to General Robert E. Lee. He, just like Union Captain Stoves, was head over heels in love with one of the student nurses at the Martha Washington Inn Hospital. But before he left, he wanted to say farewell to his love since he had no idea if he was going to make it back alive. He entered the cave system and that secret stairway to the third floor to get inside the hospital. He found her and was telling her goodbye when two Union officers came up the stairs and found them. Now, the young Confederate soldier was shot in front of his love just as he was reaching for his sidearm, killed instantly in front of her. 
his blood staining the floor where he fell. Ever since that tragic day, that blood remains. The floor has been sanded and refinished several times, but the stain comes back as if nothing had ever been done. Carpet has been laid down over the stain in an effort to at least cover it up, but oddly enough, holes always develop in the carpet right where the blood stains are, revealing them to the world again. Nothing, it seems, can be done to hide the tragedy of a love ended too soon during a time of war. Now you might also see a ghost horse outside the front steps, forever waiting for the master that will never return because he was shot and killed in that very spot in 1864. Now the horse is said to be seen on moonless nights roaming the grounds, looking for his owner to take him back home to his stable. And folks, those are some of the ghost stories associated with the Martha Washington Inn in Abingdon, Virginia. Another bit of the folklore of this place we call home, Appalachia. Thanks for listening. You can subscribe to the Mountain Lore Podcast at Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Radio Public, iHeartRadio, Deezer, and more. You can also catch our podcast on our YouTube channel, Stories, A History of Appalachia. Be sure to like and subscribe. Till next we meet, sweet dreams, podcast listeners. <laughs>